Gang, 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 man, it's Young Chizzy Chow back at you again with another one, nigga. Yeah. What? What else? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Hey man, look man, guys, how y'all doing? What's poppin'? How y'all niggas living? You know what I'm saying? Everybody got there having a good ass, wonderful day. You know what I'm saying? Cause Chizzy Chart for sure is. You feel me? Um, right now I'm accompanied by my nigga Silly Tutu. Y'all even can't see this nigga. He's sitting right next to me. You know what I'm saying? You wanna say what's up to the camera, bro? What up? I got a big ass pimp on the other side, so I'm only doing like this. I'm only gonna see, gonna see this side of my face. Oh yeah, that motherfucker is big as shit. You ain't gonna show him? Um, look, man, look, what brought me here today, you know what I'm saying? You, you can make a guest appearance in and out of my shit if you want, but look, what brought me here today, you know what I'm saying? It was brought to my attention that, you know, the the one and only, the uh, the beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Should I take that word back? Yeah. Nah. Abby Nicole has dropped a motherfucking video, um, and it was titled, let me go ahead and pull it up, but it was titled... Uh, long story short, my name was in the motherfucking title. It said, I don't hang around Tide Guy, Chark, Kennedy, Nairi, etc. And here is why. Um, now, y'all motherfuckers sent me clips and shit, you know what I'm saying? On my part where she was talking about yelling to the Chark, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, basically, she was saying some bullshit. So what we gonna do is... We're gonna go ahead and react to what she said. We're gonna sit here, watch it, react to it, and then we'll motherfucker address it. You know what I'm saying? First of all, Abby, I just wanna say this. It's been five long months. Am I tripping, bro? Like it's been five, it's been it's been like four or five months, right? About uh, the situation that happened? Yes, since this little bullshit situation like five, and shit. Right? Five months. But when it, you and Diamond was going at it and shit like that, like it's been like four or five months, right? So everything is dead. You know what I'm saying? Nothing needs to be rebirthed. Nothing needs to come back up again. But for some reason, Abby got the nerve to go ahead and make this video and not and name drop like I'm talking like like at least 15 more fuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like names that don't even have nothing to do with nothing. Like going back to. Motherfucking when you first started vlog like I'm talking like like all of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Um and at first I wasn't originally gonna make this video, bro. But y'all niggas know when Savage Chizzy Chart kick in, you know what I'm saying? Savage Chizzy Chart gonna motherfucking kick in and I'ma talk my shit and I'ma speak my motherfucking peeps, you know what I'm saying? Um Yeah man, Abby, this is long over fucking dude. Uh, you've made numerous videos on this shit. I've never, I've never done it. I've never, besides like going on live and discussing it and shit. I've this like I wasn't even, I haven't even thought about this for the last like four months. You know what I'm saying? Clearly, it's bothering you. Something is bothering you. I don't know what it is, but you decided to go ahead and make this video. So guess what the fuck I'm gonna do, shawty? I'm gonna get these motherfucking coins as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and react to your shit and entertain your shit. But I'm gonna also go ahead and break it down and let y'all niggas know what the fuck happened. Cause sometimes motherfuckers be trying to sugarcoat shit, you know what I'm saying? And be trying to make niggas look pussy. First of all, I ain't even, I ain't trying to beef with no motherfucking female nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't trying to do all that shit. Enough of me talking. Let me find this timestamp and I'm gonna turn the yeah, camera back on. You've been talking for like eight hours. Alright y'all, so look, I found a minute mark where Abby was, you know what I'm saying, talking about yelling Chizzy Chark and shit. Um, it's exactly at 15 minutes and 29 seconds. That's that's where she started talking her little her little shit or whatever. Look, when we watch this video, I'm gonna be pausing a lot. And I'm, gonna be I'm gonna be breaking shit down because I don't like motherfuckers lying on my goddamn name. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, let's start this. Video. We making a dope project together. Um, and um, who else can I clear up my name with? Chark, Chark on the other hand, you guys, if y'all didn't really understand or know throughout that whole drama situation, um, Chark thinks that I went and spoke to his ex about something that I didn't, and instead of coming to me and talk about it. First of all, motherfuckers, listen, that right there is true, right? Now, tell me if this shit is funny and tell me if this shit adds up, right? So... I'm not trying to say what happened or what it was, but 
basically when Diamond and Abby was going back and forth, right? They was doing their thing going back and forth. Look, I was not trying to be in the middle of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, I was talking to Abby and I'm like, look, no matter what it is that's going on between you and Diamond, this right here, you got to keep this a secret. You know what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody know this. You feel me? And I told her that shit that day, right? Tell me why the next day, literally, the day before I talked to Abby, the next day I get a fucking phone call for my ex, and she was asking me about that shit. And I'm like, hmm, what, what kind of coincidence is that, bro? That shit don't, need, that shit don't make sense. It don't add up because when, when her and Diamond was beefing and going back and forth, bro, there was a lot of bullshit happening and stuff like that. And, you know, they was exposing and they was telling each other's deepest, darkest secrets on the internet and shit. And the fact that Abby knew this and I told her to keep it a secret. And the next day, I got a phone call. That's when I was like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Look, I texted before I went and went on the internet tweeting. I texted Abby and I said, yo, what the fuck? Yada, yada, boom, boom. I don't got the text message no more. But I remember I texted her and I said, like, yo, how is this? Yada, yada, boom. And... Um, they was texting me back, but like, you know, niggas going in my head, bro, like niggas, you gonna motherfucking lie no matter what, you know what I'm saying? To me, it didn't add up, it didn't make sense. I texted her about it, she said, no, I didn't say it, I, I didn't say anything, I didn't do it, trust me, yada yada boo. Completely ignored it, I'm already pissed. I went on the motherfucking internet, and guess what I did? I did what Jesse Chargo motherfucking do. I tweeted, and I said, Abby could suck the bottom on my motherfucking balls, nigga. And that's it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why you hurt by that. I didn't, I didn't diss you. I didn't call you a name. You know what I'm saying? All I said was you could suck the bottom of my balls. Like, that's it, nigga. Live your life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't. I didn't. Huh? I said Abby could suck the bottom of my balls. Would I let her suck the bottom of my balls? Of course I would. But that's all I tweeted. Like, I didn't. I wasn't calling you out your name. I was just, I just said you can suck the bottom of my balls. Basically, it's me telling you go kick rocks, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like me saying, nigga, I hope you headbutt a butter knife. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what that is. I ain't, I ain't, wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, that's what she finna talk about. Um, but we gonna go into more details because she finna say some extra bullshit that don't even need to be said. He wanted to tweet on Twitter and be big shit, but then when I pull up to his crib to get my wig and my outfit that he wore to a blind date and prank tie, he was hiding behind the fucking door and sent Frosty to come bring me my shit when really... Alright, now listen to this. This is when I start getting fucking pissed, nigga. This one savage, cheesy fucking tart. Kick in, nigga, look. So, I made this one video a while, a long time ago, right? And... Basically, I was in the whole disguise outfit, so I had a whole... I hold a whole wig on and like a wig cap, wig on and like a girl outfit and shit with like makeup on and shit like that, right? No homo. Pause, no homo. But I had Dub, I had Dub set tie the guy up on, on a blind date and basically his blind date was me, right? Um, so those are the clothing items you're talking about, right? So, after, mind you, it's been sitting in my, it's been sitting in my room for like two, Two months, I kid you not, bro. Two months just sitting in my fucking room, right? So, after I text Abby and confirm about this shit, she's like, no, it's not me. I had a boom when I just tweet, Abby can suck the bottom of my balls. Nigga, this shit been sitting in my room for two months. And I ignore your phone calls, text me, all that shit. And this shit been sitting in my room for two months. She, she sends me a text message and says, oh, I'm going to come and grab my stuff. I'm like... First of all, it's a fucking wig and girl clothes. Like, I ain't yeah, come get your shit. So I'll be like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with that shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, well, like, what can I possibly do with that? You know what I'm saying? Just needed it for a video real quick. You could have got it the same day back. Anyways, long story short, that shit's irrelevant as fuck. She came to go get those items, right? Um, she said I was hiding behind a door. Now, look, y'all niggas know Chizzy Chart is ten motherfucking toes. Never motherfucking fold. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. straight up, nigga. Like, you always, look, you always gotta stay 10 steps ahead of the motherfucking game. You know what I'm saying? Me? I ain't no fucking dumbass, nigga. I'm gonna stay 10, 10 steps ahead of you. Like, I'm gonna make sure I'm always 10 steps ahead of your ass. So, I come downstairs. But then I go back upstairs and I'm like, yo, Frosty, come with me real quick. Because I started sensing some fishy shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Frosty. Come with me real quick. 
So Frosty comes with me. I put all her stuff in a little bag, by the way. Frosty come with me. We go downstairs. I hand him the bag, and I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Nigga, go ahead. Open this door. Hey, shut up. I'm filming, nigga. I'm like, hey, you know what? Take this bag. Go downstairs. Open this door. It's just so I can see what kind of energy they is. You know, what they vibe is, right? So Frosty do that. I'm standing like right by the leasing office behind the wall, like trying to see what kind of energy type of vibe they on. Soon as Frosty opened the door, nigga, it wasn't just Abby. It was Abby, it was Paula, it was Kay, her other roommate or best friend or whatever. All three of them come barging in, right? Like barging in. Now I see that. Now I'm like, cool. I called it straight from the top. You wasn't just coming here to come get your shit. Cause you just gonna come here to come get your shit. My nigga, here you go, I'm gonna hand it to you and go about your day and live your life. But nah, y'all niggas, y'all niggas try to pull up on some, like, on some, I don't know what, like, some crazy psychotic shit, right? Look, nigga, they come running in. They come, they go running upstairs past the leasing office and shit. So, my, my ass, being the 10 toes nigga I am, since I already knew what the fuck was gonna happen before it happened, I walk to the gym, right? So I'm standing in the gym, like, watching everything. And so here's the gym has a glass door. Or you can see through the glass door. Um, they're at the elevator trying to come up to the fourth floor because they ain't know where the fuck I was. So I'm at the elevator. I'm, I'm behind the. I'm behind the ass watching them the whole time. It's Frosty, Abby, Paula, and Dom, and um, and Kay. And they arguing with Frosty. Beep up upstairs. Beep up upstairs. Ah, wear a chart. Wear a chart. Ah, 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 boom. Right. I'm over just watching they dumb ass. Like what the fuck. Security guard comes, cause them, them hoes being loud as fuck, bro, for no fucking reason. Just cause I tweeted, just cause I tweeted, Abby can suck the bottom of my balls, nigga. You that is you that mad, nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's all I said. Um, so yeah, they made, start making all this commotion and shit. Yeah, yeah, boom. Frosty, real ass nigga, was not letting their ass go upstairs. Like, nah, nigga, you're not going to my apartment complex. Yeah, yeah, they was looking for me, couldn't find me. Security comes, cool. security. Tells them to leave. They're like, nah, we need to go upstairs. My stuff is up. like lying and shit. Security like, nah, nigga. If they don't want you to go upstairs, you ain't going upstairs. You don't live here. Get the fuck out. Cool. They bounce and they dip. You know what I'm saying? Now, Abby over here, I don't... This is old, bro. Old as fuck. Now, she over here trying to bring all of this shit back up. I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know, rent almost doing shit. You feel me? And you might be... The girl who pays rent for everybody else and stuff like that. But if y'all watch this video that she made, she literally talks about a whole bunch of people. And then if y'all sit there and analyze and break shit down, you would be like, why the fuck are you talking about these certain things? Like, this is so irrelevant at this point. Nobody cares. She talks about favors she's done for people. Like, who give a fuck, bro? You know what I'm saying? You, That's, let me say that. Let me say that shit just a low blow, bro. I didn't even watch the video. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that shit is just whack. You know what I'm saying? Um. Anyways, let's continue this to see what the rest of the shit she said was. I wanted to talk to him face to face, but he didn't have enough balls to do that. But then asked me to come. Shawty, listen. I wasn't trying to talk to you face to face. Why do I not want to talk to you face to face? Cause I want to tap a nigga once I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I said what I said. Keep it moving, nigga. Like, why is you so pressed on talking to somebody trying to explain your innocence and shit, bro? Just live your life. And keep it moving. Am I wrong for not wanting to talk to you face to face? No, I'm not fucking wrong. You clearly fucking psychotic. There's something wrong with you in the fucking head that you think is fucking wrong for someone not wanting to talk to your ass face to face. If I don't want to talk to you face to face, I don't want to talk to you face to face. I don't want to text you. I don't want to follow you. I don't want to do none of that. I ain't forced to do nothing, shawty. You keep doing you, and I'm going to do me. I don't know why you're so pressed, Abby. Ain't nobody hating on you. Ain't nobody saying none. I saw you at a pool party the other day. I didn't even say a word to your ass. We just kept it pushing. We kept it moving. That's how it should be, but you over here keep bringing up bullshit for no fucking reason, and it's completely irrelevant. That's dumb as hell. Come suck the bottom of his balls. How you want me to suck the bottom of your balls, but you don't got nothing to even talk to me in my face? I don't have to have balls to talk to you in your face. I don't want to talk to you in your face because I, I, I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I, I literally don't give a single fuck. Like, like my time is not worth it. Me talking to you face to face, you know what I'm saying? My time is more valuable. Like, like this other shit I'd rather do than talk about bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they's cool. We not cool no more. Cool. Let's keep it pushing. What the fuck are you like? 
we don't need to talk, nigga. Like, if, if, if I break up with a girl, like, that's it, nigga. We done. We broke enough. What we need to talk about for y'all? You know what I'm saying? Go about your ways. Go about your days. And it's over with. And it's motherfucking raps. You know what I'm saying? After he was tweeting that bitch. Shit. Anyway, again, when I did that four, that three hour live stream. You heard that? She, did, she had a live stream for three motherfucking hours. Who got the time of day to go on a live for three goddamn hours? Not to the motherfucking chart, man. But. That was my little segment she did on Chizzy Chart, you know what I'm saying? And um, just wanted to go ahead and go ahead and clear that, clear the whole air and put that shit out there for y'all niggas, cause y'all know Chizzy Ch motherfucking Chart is ten toes. I never motherfucking fold. I don't give a fuck if you a girl, I don't give a fuck if you a nigga. I'ma come back at your ass no matter what, nigga. And that's how we do it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's upload. Go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. It's gonna be linked down in the description, man. I'm uh, finna upload on that channel today too, and I'ma catch y'all niggas later. You dig? You dig? And I keep a stick, nigga, for all my enemies. Huh, yeah, nigga, I came from the dirt, sipping up dirt.